When Ford decided to make a commercial for the new Ford Cougar, they found that one actor embodied all the right characteristics of the car, Dennis Hopper. In 1969, he produced, directed, and starred in one of the great American films, Easy Rider, about the desire of youth to break away. Well, Ford and its ad agency, Young and Rubicum, understood that the Ford Cougar Sports Coupe would appeal to an age group seeking to relive their youth, recapture their love of spontaneity, and break away from the mold now and again. How better to communicate that spirit than by letting the 1969 Hopper meet the 1999 Hopper on an open highway. It's a kind of retro style commercial, commercial really. Um, the idea being that Dennis Hopper um, of today um, meets his alter ego and his other self from the movie Easy Rider um, in Death Valley 30 years later, uh, driving the new Cougar. And it's a face off between the two of them. Uh, that essentially is the premise. It's a terrific bit of filmmaking. It's a very innovative, using me from Easy Rider and myself now acting with myself. I was playing golf with Jack Nicholson. I said, Jack, they have this new technology. I just did this commercial for Ford uh, where I'm playing with myself and Easy Rider. I said, you can go back to any of your old movies and play your father or your older brother or whatever you want. And, uh, it's really a great, it's great. Yeah. Dennis was, was incredibly supportive with the idea. Um, and uh, we, we developed him, uh, developed it along the line with him. And um, he was very excited. You know, he was very excited to see um, technically how the how the images would work, i.e., matching himself today to to his to his other self from from the late 60s. Um, and we started to bring in nuances within the film of things that he did from from the old movie. And he remembered certain sequences that he shot years ago, which was which was really helpful. The cinematic theme with Ford commercials started with the use of Steve McQueen and Bullet for the Ford Puma. Here, the footage of Steve McQueen from the film was electronically inlaid into contemporary footage to make it look as if McQueen was driving the new car. The new film had to have a central character to whom the audience could easily relate. Easy Rider and Dennis Hopper was a good choice. I'm acting with myself from Easy Rider and it's really thrilling. It's thrilling to see what they're doing. Also, they have an editing van out here and they're cutting and putting it together while they're doing it. It's a thrill watching. Incredible, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's a great thrill. The storyline would be the chance meeting of the two hoppers, one from today, the other the youthful wild child of the 60s, both realizing their dreams on the road, both still the same person at heart. This juxtaposition was to illustrate the two sides of the Ford Cougar driver, conventional exterior, but wild inner spirit. The key to the creation of the commercial was the Flame, the mobile computer synchronization system, a state-of-the-art computer program. We broke, we broke new ground with this commercial. Um, in terms of we were the first people globally to, to incorporate a, um, a Flame system, which is pretty much what, what we have here, which is a computer-aided uh, composite special effects system. And we had that on site with us, where we could actually shoot and, and composite on location. Um, and really see if we were getting it right, if we were getting our angles right, our lights right, you know, um, our lenses, the type of focal lengths we were using right. So that was, that was a, a breakthrough. Weeks of painstaking work went into developing the seamless bond between the images from the 60s and the 90s so that the young Dennis Hopper could meet today's Dennis Hopper. Look out for a full road test on the Ford Cougar on Motorweek soon.